Okay, so let's do this problem here. So we have a circuit and we're looking for V1, V2, and V3. So we're gonna use KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law here. And let's work on V1 first. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna go 40 plus 50 to this point minus 20 minus 20 minus v1 equals zero so what's that come out to be it looks like v1 is equal to 70 volts now let's do another one so we just did this one Let's do this one up here. So we'll start right here. So we'll go this direction first. So we have 20 volts minus 30 volts plus V2 equals zero. So V2 equals 10 volts. Okay, now let's do one more loop here. Let's do this one. So we're gonna start right here. And we'll go V1 up to this, minus V2, minus V3 equals zero. So let's plug in our values here. So we have 70 minus 10 minus v3 equals zero so there we have v3 is equal to 60 volts so this is another problem that uses kirchhoff's voltage law